What is up, Cog Squad? Boy, we got. <laughs> We're in a rush today. What's up, girl? What's up, Peach? You ready for breakfast? You ready? Let me get it. All right, girl. All right, girl. Woo woo! Peach, how's that breakfast? It's pretty good. It's good. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Jason over here at Cog Kill Farm, and today we're in a little bit of rush. Uh, a lot of rain is coming. We've had a lot of rain, really. I mean, you can see it's been it's been a lot of rain here the last few weeks. But today the rain is coming, and it's coming pretty fast. There's a lot of things that I need to get done. I got to feed the farm. I got to do the farm chores, and I got rutabagas and those collard greens that we've been babying up at the house for the last three weeks. They gotta get in the ground. So either, either one or two things is gonna happen. Either I'm gonna get the stuff done, get the farm fed, and get the plants in the ground before the rain gets here, or I'm just gonna do it in the rain. If that's the case, fingers crossed it's not that bad. Hey, beautiful ladies. I must say, you girls still look pretty amazing after your spa day the other day. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I just felt a sprinkle. <laughs> just a sprinkle. We still got time. But I'm I'm humping it. It is definitely, definitely sprinkling now. I keep checking the radar. It's close. It's really, really close. And I don't think it's gonna let up. I think it's just gonna rain. I see y'all under that umbrella. One thing's for sure, goats hate water. You can see tip and top. They're in their goat house. If you didn't know that, goats absolutely hate water. They will they will not get in it. Won't get in it. Well, I say won't. I'm sure that there's been times where goats got in the water, but it is definitely not the norm. All right, let's get y'all's water filled up. We were, you know, we were hatching some quail. We were giving some quail eggs. And then we had 33, we had 11 try to hatch, eight made it, and then none of them made it. So they all didn't make it. So we're rebooting on that. JK Farms, who gave us the other eggs and where we got these quail from, which these are Georgia Giant Bob White, gave Mary Carl, get this, 140 quail eggs. So looks like there will be a quail brooder house coop whatever you want to call it area coming soon and hopefully we can hatch some boogers out i love their sound we're really good at hatching chicken eggs chicken eggs we can hatch with no problem quail eggs are obviously different we used to have a hard time hatching goose eggs and duck eggs but we can hatch those easy now so it's always learn 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 if it's something you want to do don't give up keep trying because you can do it don't be scared of failure and don't be scared of trying over and over and over again until you get it right it's just the way it is sometimes and sometimes that's the only way we learn i got out here pretty early this morning before everybody got up i may have to skip breakfast and get these plants planted I'm gonna go ahead and grab my raincoat just in case because it's really, really close. So here are our seedlings. Now I've been babying these things big time. They're roughly three weeks old. I mean, and I've been babying them. Um, our temperature, like I said, has been like this. So on really cold days, especially early when they were just coming up, 
I'd bring them inside and they would stay inside for a few days. And the way I do that is, is as y'all know, if, and if you don't know, I don't have a greenhouse. So I grow a lot of seeds inside the house when the temperatures aren't right. And all I use is the LED shop light. But the thing is, it's gotta be daylight. That's the color you want. That's the spectrum you want. That's the correct spectrum for ceilings. You do not have to have one of those expensive high dollar all you need is a led light and the color you want is daylight if you don't believe me look now if you had a mature plant that you were growing inside 24 7 that was mature that was that you wanted to flower or produce fruit then you would need a grow, a grow light but for seedlings for you know to grow from week one to up to week four or five a LED shop light is perfectly fine and it works and you can get those boogers for less than 20 bucks. Let's go plant these boogers. And hopefully I can get them in before the rain comes because this is there. A really good thing to do right now because that rain's coming would be to fertilize. If you had any type of pelleted fertilizer, now would be a great time to throw that out. My carrots are starting to look, you know, a good bit better. They're looking a good bit thicker than they were originally. So I'm, I'm a little bit happier about the way the carrots So I still think I may have planted some too deep, but live and learn. The lettuce we planted the other day, uh, the purple's looking okay. The green's not looking so hot. The uh, Now the lettuce we got planted in our green stalk planter on the back deck is doing awesome. We've been eating salads off that. That is worked out very, very well. Even have had cold, like I said, some cold freezing nights and I used the frost cover from green stalk that goes over the top of it. No issues at all. Now. I don't know how low it can go before that frost cover no longer will work, but if we got down to 26 and then we had a couple of nights in a row where we had, you know, under freezing weather and the frost cover worked and the lettuce is fine. And maybe that's what happened to these guys over here. They got hit by those three straight nights of below freezing weather and it stunned their growth. I don't know, but let's get to planting. Starry eyes and cellophane, she takes her oh, Can we get them in the ground? <laughs> Getting pretty wet. But it's not heavy, heavy yet. It's just a steady rain. If it gets heavy, I'm still going to do this. I got to get this in the ground today. Because tomorrow it's going to be worse than today. And if I don't get them in the ground, there's a good chance they're going to die in the trays because they're too big. Then we won't have any greens for later on this winter and on into the early spring. When everyone is gone, are we breaking title to ask the question why? We live and then we die, I think I'm fine. Maybe I'll write you from the other side. I keep, I keep checking the radar and you see that blue dot's me. <laughs> Ooh. All right. We're getting closer. We are definitely getting closer to being finished. Raised up his little sister on his own, brushed her hair and watched her grow. We want to put my camera up. It's uh, I just don't want it to get too wet. Just everything's getting really wet. Another thing, it is uh, the temperature's dropping, so it's getting a little bit cooler <laughs> than it was a few minutes ago. It feels like Thomas. I see that you are undercover, and I don't blame you, cause. It is, it is nasty. But I do got my GoPro, which is waterproof. I'm telling you, I wish I'd have brought my sweatshirt down here because it is getting cold. And I got, I guess, around 80 to 100 collard greens I got to plant now. Hope I can get these collard greens out now. I'm so stoked, so stoked and happy. Well, I would do a happy dance in the garden, but I'm pretty sure I would just destroy what I just planted. <laughs> so let's do a happy that you're gonna have some awesome food coming up soon from your garden dance in the driveway.
Oh, no, I need to get out of these miserable wet clothes, warm up. I might build a fire. I mean, it, literally, it was 65 degrees when I was out here start. I don't know what it is now. I've just been watching the radar, and the rain's there. Yes! Hey, if you missed any of our garden videos, check out the playlist right over here. And if you're interested in any Kyle Kill Farm gear like this farm garden dance shirt I got on, check out that link right down below me. And as always, y'all be good. Oh, let's go warm up.